Welcome to my van. This is my micro camper. It's a box of Avaro 2002 model. I actually have had a van tour before. You can look at it over here. This is where I didn't have a few of the things in my van, but you can check it out. Um, and you can see how much progress I've made. So let's start with the entrance. Storage cube, um, but also acts as a seat. Um, it's got my fire extinguisher, my extra gas, and um, basically washing up liquid and just bits and bobs, really. I also, because it's winter, I've got this nice carpet with a pot plant. Um, this is my aloe vera called Owl. Um, Owl's been through a rough time. Yeah, I feel like I really wanted... The layout really, there was no really pre, pre concept of what I really wanted. Well, I've been living in it full time plus converting it for the last seven months. So I have the diesel heater over here. It's really awesome. It's not awesome when it doesn't work and it's minus three, but I've slept in minus three and it's been absolutely awesome. Um, I stole my kettle over here. Most of my under bed storage is literally just clothes, clothes, clothes. <laughs> More clothes at the back and shoes. So yeah, I opt for a fixed bed because I didn't know how... To, I really, really wanted slack beds, but I didn't know really um, how to do that by myself also in the time frame so I just decided for a fixed bed and I am glad I've got the fixed bed because of all the underneath storage and to make like there's so many things that you do in van life to make a bed and not make a bed for me it really just helps I can lay down whenever I want to and especially now that the van's like transformed I really do love the seat because it means that if I wanted to switch from the bed a chain of scenery I could have um, I've got a okay so this is this table I literally got from um, B&M for 12 pounds and it's just perfect I this is where I cook on here um, inside the van so I can switch the table like this if I wanted to and that's how I would cook and then I would cook sit on the bed because it's just easier um, to cook from the bed. And now that I've got this set up, I can literally sit here and do some work, which is pretty cool. Um, this is kind of like a dream moment for me because this is how I envisioned me sitting here. Um, I, originally I wanted to build a bench, but having this storage cube is perfect because you can move it around um, and having a compact space like this you really need things to move around um a lot so so yeah this folds down like this and stores away which is perfect so this is the entrance area and ideally i would have loved to have like a fold table but i think i'm gonna not have that because i've got this table already i just don't need to buy extra things for no reason at the stage okay so let's move into the kitchen area which is very much well i would say kitchen slash extra area so this is very much new to the van um i bought this off amazon i will put a link in on my blog post and in the description i this is fantastic I store clothes, my like everyday work clothes in there. Um, this is like my gym bag. I've got, I'll show you this device in a second. Um, and then I've got like my little extra bag, some hats, gloves. Basically, it's just an overhead cupboard, which is great. I don't know. The best advice I got was don't worry about building yourself a cupboard like I literally didn't know how to build a cupboard and I didn't have the resources so I bought like a bathroom kitchen cabinet pre-made and then I landed up just constructing it and then modifying it to place it on 
top. So at the back we've got tongue and groove, which I'm very proud of. Um, and all of this stuff gets packed away when I drive, obviously, um, because nothing's fixed at the moment. This is literally, I've just installed this. So I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to keep everything on here whilst not really damaging the counter. I feel like I'm just going to bungee cord that, uh, which will be pretty cool. Um, but I really like this clean surface at the moment. Um, everything gets placed on the cuff. The tray, trays are really handy in vans. Um, just by placing it, it acts as another surface, portable surface, and it doesn't damage the counter, which is really important for me. So this counter was a very good find because it was also on Amazon. I actually found it on a girl's YouTube channel um, because I needed this overhead storage i measured wrong where it was a bit too high this should have been like up to here to be honest um and this would have been a bit higher but it all worked out because i found this was 63 centimeters high which was perfect to what i needed it to be um so yeah it just makes everything look so much neater now and i've got a runway which this is so important for space so i can walk through the van which is really really awesome so i'm still debating about putting a sink on here because ideally this is where i was going to fit a sink but i tried washing up with the bucket earlier and it was perfect so i don't know whether i want to install that at the moment it's just a new thing i need to figure it out but here basically we've got um just plate storage it fits really well on the wheel arch as well i've got books my milk and these slide cabinets just means there's like no space that's get wasted um this is all food storage as well, which is awesome but at the moment. This is just really, these, these shelves I made myself. They're not the best, but they're quite quirky and I made it, so it made me feel really special. I've just got some books, most of the cables and lights get put here. Tarot cards, amethyst, my essential oils. Um, then we've got chair storage. Over here, this has got all my underwear, socks, and things like that. This is like a blender, um, gown, blanket, and then just underneath there is just like jackets. I do want to get like a um, cupboard so we could stuff things in so it makes it separately, but for now, this is perfect. And then this is just the temperature gauge which I got from Little, which is really good just to show you what the temperature is like. This is my USB port. This gets used so much. Um, and yeah, very simple. This is where I can place my iPhone if I wanted to. A little mirror. And just some magnets. And my surname emblem um, attached to the wall, really. Just to give it a bit more character, I suppose. I've also got the hooks. is really great for me. Um, this is like medicine just little bags hooked on there i'll put probably another one here for this electronics um but it's really simple to be honest i really like the design these backdrop is perfect i got given this um by doing like some social media for some friends once and this curtains are just really to make it look a bit more homely i suppose and it also acts as when the boot is closed um, it acts as a way for all the um, the folded tables, um, my firewood, um, all of that gets stored at the back. So when you camp out, you could just like expand everything. So it's great for the back door open. I need to just remove a few things, but it acts as a way to like mask and decor. So it's everything has a multifunction in the van. This is where eventually my fridge is going to go. Um, in this cubby hole and I want to separate everything so I want to put some plywood over here to make the bed a bit more sturdier and also um, close off the appliances section so everything has a bit more space so 
here we go into the, the boot area which I love so this is this is why I, I'm full of runway so now this is like all fresh produce and this is my toiletries which I need to sort out <laughs> but this is kind of there uh, laundry basket this is all tools box over here I can just whenever I need anything I just slide everything out which is great this is like bio wood bag and as you can see this I can access anything over here really which is brilliant um, so now let's go to the other side As you can see the double doors is just fantastic for ventilation and air out to the whole van which is just brilliant so as you can see this is the door closed so it's definitely a lot more home steady because it's carpet this door is not carpeted yet i still have to um get some more carpet and finish this door that's kind of like the last deck or bed to finished um and then just get rid of all the silvery bits around the edges and stuff um so let's come to the electrical system brilliant so all the shoes are stored here i've got like extra light um tools then we've got the mppt which is my solar panel um energy converter and i've got a 250 watt solar panel on the top and yeah, it's just mostly USBs and I've got a 100 amp hour lithium battery, which has been fine. I got the inverter stalled, but to be honest with you, I haven't really used it because of the power situation. Um, maybe I can use it in the summer more, but I don't know how much my battery it will drain. So I'm kind of tend to not use it. Alternatively, I've got these. So this clamps, this is a clamp. Um, and I'll show you how awesome this is. This is a 300 watt inverter which gets plugged in like this, just like that. And we switch it on here and the lights on. And this is how I charge my laptop, which is all I need to be honest. Um, it's brilliant and it works used to you could also apply it into the cigarette lighter holder and it works perfectly fine too so i think it's so great for me to be able to work and travel in the van because that's ideally what i'm working up to where i store my diesel for my diesel heater um and what i do love as well is that i've just got like a blanket to cover the blackout there is a gap in between the the front and the back so i'll just show you how i get back and forth really in and out which is in park up mode the front access loads of storage so some stuff that's at the back would be stored in there i'm at a campsite so um i don't really mind storing stuff in the front um but basically when we're driving the back of the boot will be closed and basically what will happen is all of that stuff will be put at the back there which is perfect it's just like kind of multifunctional space really water i will get a water jug that has like a place so i can just place it on top of here i think that's the next buy really is to have like a water jug so i can place it on here and tap water on the side something movable i think um if i needed hot water basically heat up some water which will be perfectly fine for me um but yeah i just love the space i've really created my own this has been self-converted as well um i've had a bit of help installing the diesel heater and the electrics but other than that everything else and 
just this plywood as I didn't know how to use like a drill and stuff in the beginning now I'm a lot a lot more confident but yeah I just I just love my little space it's my homestead and it's brilliant this is where I store all my cutlery as well this has been such a good um just you always need easy access to cutlery so this is another way how I cook is I've got a portable gas stove um which I love because I can just cook outside at the moment this is like my roast which I'm busy with at the moment I've got like a nut roast ready to be cooked um uh, omnia oven which is a recent buy for cooking more baking and roasts and yeah pretty easy setup and I've got a fold out table which I got for five pounds which I could cook outside it's just more space is necessary if you go to micro camper you need something like that um to wash up I've just got this washing up bowl which is great so at the moment I'm just doing some washing up which is perfect and yeah that's about it really my little micro camper if you have any questions leave the comment section below um, and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and all the different items in this van will be on my website so check it out thank you for watching